the flying guillotine. Should you use it? Is it better than the pistol and other scout secondaries? Let's find out. So what is the point of the cleaver? We already have the pistol, which can kind of help scout deal chip damage at medium and in some cases long range. So why should we use this projectile? The nice thing about it is it has no damage fall off. So it always does 50 damage regardless of range. So if you're really far away and you throw it, you can deal 50 damage. And then it also does 40 bleed over five seconds. Now the bleed can be reduced or gotten rid of. Another thing to note about the cleaver is long range attacks reduce the cooldowns. So the cooldown is on a 5.1 second timer that as soon as you throw it, the timer starts. You cannot pick the cleaver up either. So like once it's on the ground, it's on the ground. And you'll also notice once it recharges, it actually just teleports back to you. Now you can reduce the cooldown to 3.5 seconds as long as the cleaver travels for 0.5 seconds or longer. So in this case, so we'll watch the meter. So when I throw it, just normal cooldown, when you land the hit from farther away, you'll notice the recharge jump up a bit like that. Now also note that this thing is affected by gravity. So if I throw it straight, you'll notice that it starts to arc. So the further back you are, the more you'll need to account for gravity. Let's go way back here. Let's kind of aim above the sniper a little bit. You can land really distant shots from quite far away. And also take note of the fact that if this collides with the environment, let's say it hits that, it'll bounce off and do nothing. It also does nothing to buildings. So if you throw it in an engineer like Sentry or something like that, or a dispenser or whatever, it'll just bounce off of it and deal zero damage. Now there is a huge downside of using this. You're basically trading a reliable hit scan secondary that can be good for cleaning up kills or straight up getting a kill on, on its own, uh, the pistol for a projectile weapon. And if you're in a scout 1v1 and you're out of ammo and you need to quickly switch to pistol, you have to land a projectile on that scout. And if it hits, it's huge. But if it misses, you're probably losing the 1v1. So you are trading long range damage and poke like you're getting, you get poke damage, but you're losing medium, like short to medium range burst damage and consistency. Now, how is this usually used? From what I've seen and how I use it, I'll use it to either initiate or to retreat or to spam through a choke. So one thing that Scout can't really do is throw a projectile and have something run into it with his primary. So what you can do with this is if something's chasing you around a corner, you can just like throw it. And if they keep chasing you, they usually will run right into it. And then if you're still retreating, they've taken 50. You can kind of like get onto a perch or get into a better position. And then by the time they push through the choke, they've taken roughly 70 to 90 damage and you can usually kill them with a meat shot. So this allows for pretty nice hit and run tactics. Also, if you can start off a scout 1v1 with a cleaver on the enemy scout, they'll take 90 damage, especially if they're not getting healed. If they're getting healed, obviously they'll be getting health and the bleed will get reduced but it can be huge for opening a fight with any class. And it's also really good at peppering down heavies. So one thing that Scout suffers against are overhealed heavies, unless he can get close or there's like, you know, focus fire coming from your team. So if there's just like a heavy medic combo and you just want to like help your team, uh, you can throw a cleaver at the heavy, put some damage on him, start shooting him, wait for it to recharge, keep doing that, keep your distance, stay safe. Uh, you can also reach enemies that are far away, so this can help you like track down snipers. Uh, scout generally can be good against sniper, but if the sniper is really good and you want to get the edge on him, if you hit him with a cleaver as you're approaching him, he's getting flinched from all these bleeds, and he also takes huge damage at range. And you usually can pepper him down with like chip shots from your primary, whatever it is, while you're approaching. So you're basically trading hit scan consistency for long range poke and damage over time. And the damage over time, I would say, is less useful if there's a lot of medics or dispensers around because all of those will kind of undo the pressure that bleed provides. Bleed and burn are damage over time pressure. And essentially, you get the most value out of them when you're fighting on flanks and there aren't like dispensers and medics because then you're in 1v1s where neither of you are getting healed. And then every point of health matters, right? Because you can't just get like crossbow bolted for like a hundred and just continue on. You have to actually 
Like if I'm a if I'm a scout and another scout hits me with a guillotine and I'm at 125 health, I'm probably gonna go to health back. I'm not taking that fight. And he probably, if he's good, can chip shot me and kill me, even from kind of far away. So it can be pretty dangerous to get guillotined in a scout 1v1. And if you can hit like a spy, that's the other thing too. If you hit a spy, you can track them easier. Uh, you can put bleed on pyros and, you know, just hit snipers from far away. The recharge is pretty nice. So like, let's say there's some sniper, it's like harassing your team. It comes back much faster if you hit them at range. So it's basically just a long range harassment tool that gives scout burst damage similar to pyros flares. And overall, there, I would say the main use case is if you want to do hit and run tactics where you don't want to stay in the fray for very long. If you're getting like pocketed or if you're getting ubered as scout, pistol is definitely way better. But if you're playing like a more flank oriented style of play and you want to do hit and run tactics where you don't want to be like visible for very long, you just want to like get in and out. And just like go for these like really aggressive, like out of nowhere plays, you can do that. So what does the cleaver pair well with? It's pretty good with the stock scattergun because the stock scattergun in of itself is enough to get a bunch of kills. If you manage your reloads, your positioning and land consistent meat shots, you can easily kill a lot of enemies with just stock and the meat cleaver. You can also use the atomizer to like get to high places so that when you initiate or if you just want to reposition to get weird angles so that you can like throw a cleaver at a sniper and then start attacking it, that can be useful. Another thing that's kind of fun to do is use the short stop. Now the short stop isn't the best weapon and it definitely isn't that good on close quarters maps. It's really good on like medium range and open maps where you have space because what you can do is like cleaver someone and then gun them down. This is also really good at fighting heavies and the short stop itself is scouts, like one of scouts best weapons for dealing with sentries. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the cleaver video. Overall, it's pretty fun. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful. I do recommend running this, it's pretty fun. I think it's actually banned in some competitive settings because it gives scout range damage and it can hit a med for 90, <laughs> which is a lot of damage. So like being able to just put 90 from any, from like almost any range, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe and I'll see you next one. Peace.